<laughs> well, look on the bright side. I've been moving out of this fucking jail cell apartment with a bad time. Mom and dad that want to take control of my life again. Man, I'm telling you, if I'm not going to make it to the store and not going to become a good looking guy with long of God, just please fucking kill me. Give me the power, give me the guts to curse the Holy Spirit so I can get killed. Fuck this shit. Fuck living in this shithole, hellhole life. The thrill is gone. Ever since 1995, this place has been a goddamn fucking shit heap. God damn! You know, I'm not gonna ever get to meet fucking, uh, meet Billy Graham. Not gonna ever. We'll get, well, I better get on fucking Dr. Phil. I'm telling you, as long as I'm gonna be some ass goddamn back from not being known by the world, why the fuck do I get one level with y'all and open up? I'm not going to. So you can call me strange, so I can feel so isolated and alone, and everybody picking on me? Fuck that shit. Fuck you too. Uh, get me on over with Dr. Phil, or I ain't gonna take goddamn shit! Do you get the fucking picture? God fucking damn it. I'll pull the wool over your goddamn eyes over and over again, you goddamn motherfucker. The fuck you too. They'll, they'll probably try to commit me to Cherry Hospital saying I'm a dangerous myself. How? By pissing on the goddamn rug, which I have not done. And if I have, fucking prove it, you motherfuckers. Why the fuck is it taking six years and you still can't prove it? It's having to throw me up. I mean, you can't prove Jack Dilly fucking shit. You're going on fucking hearsay. Evidence that fucking shit don't flush in a goddamn court of law, will it? Did the day in this fucking magistrate's office? I could have appealed, I could appeal it, but that if I stay, I'm gonna pay three hundred sixty-five goddamn dollars 